How do you define mental health? We interviewed everyday people to see what they think about mental health. How do I define mental health? Mental health is someone's um, mental or psychological well-being and uh, their capacity to handle situations properly. Self-image, you know, people who, who like who they are. A lot of times you can get caught up in interacting with others so much that you don't like focus on yourself. And I feel like it's important to know your limits and take care of yourself. We interviewed Anna Wolf, a counselor at the Northwood High School Wellness Center. She gave us some insight into mental health. I believe mental health is the way that we think, feel, and behave. The way that I equate mental health is with physical health. So just as if we are having blurry vision, we go to the optometrist, we get testing, and we get tools that can help us. And, and there's no stigma with that. It's, it's normalized. But when it comes to mental health, why do we look at it differently? A lot of things I've heard is if I go to a therapist or if I, if I say that I'm depressed, then that must mean that I'm crazy or that must mean that I belong in a, in a psychiatric institution because this is what we see in the movies, this is what the media portrays, but the reality is very different. As students, we have a lot of thoughts on how schools in Montgomery County handle mental health concerns. I go to Montgomery Blair High School. I'd say that they handle it pretty well. Over the years, um, they've implemented more ways and more discussions in health classes especially, but I still think that there's some stigma because of society that makes it harder for people to take those discussions seriously. Basically what I think is that if you need help, then you should be able to get it somehow, some way, especially when you're in a place like a school that should be able to provide that. So that's definitely something that I think that schools should be like really prioritizing. MCPS requires that all schools establish a wellness council, a wellness team to support student health and wellness. Comprehensive health education classes teach students core health skills to help them make informed decisions about their health and wellness. All teachers and guidance counselors know how to address um, student concerns and, and issues of suicide or, um, or crises that happen, but because they have such a huge caseload and huge classes, it's, it's difficult to respond to those individual needs. At Northwood, where Ms. Wolf works, they have a wellness center which only four high schools in the county have. The Northwood Wellness Center is basically an, an extension of Northwood High School. We provide comprehensive, positive youth development services for all students. Everything is free, everything is confidential and culturally sensitive. We also offer somatic health services, so we have a full-time nurse, we have visiting doctors, and on our side we have counseling, which includes individual, family, and group therapy but four schools really isn't a lot in a county, four high schools. And so um, I think it's a political change. Hopefully someday every high school can have a wellness center, but until then, teachers in schools should recognize the mental health needs of their students. So something I would like teachers and school staff to know is when a student is struggling in a class or in the hallways, if they're acting out or if their behavior is disruptive, behavior is often a reflection of, of mental health and we need to understand and listen to the voices of, of young people because they know their truths and they know their stories. We can't assume we know everything about a student. We need to be open and, and humble. Taking care of our mental health is something that we can all work on. There are lots of little ways that students can help improve their mental health. So in order to take care of their own mental health, I recommend that students do something every day that feels good to them. And what feels good isn't necessarily what's healthy. So I think understanding the difference between like instant gratification and things that are nourishing. I also think students can, I recommend that they, they express themselves, like find a way, find an outlet, right, and then share that. I think when a student shares their voice, it empowers other students to do the same. Montgomery County has made great strides in providing mental health services in schools. However, there is still room to grow and improve. No matter what a student has been through, no matter their past, they're capable of achieving mental health and achieving, you know, a life that that makes them happy and fulfilled. I think breaking the silence about, 
talking about mental health is the first step in, in reducing that stigma, that shame. Um, once we start to talk about it, it becomes normalized.